This is the Earth Science Classroom. So our atmosphere has four distinct layers, of which one is the troposphere. The troposphere is the lowest layer, the thinnest layer, and it's right by the surface that we experience as life on the planet. The troposphere can vary in height or altitude between five miles over the poles to 11, 12 miles over the tropics or the equator. It is important because it contains a lot or the majority of the mass air molecules in the atmosphere. It has a certain temperature profile and gradient. It has certain pressures and it contains our weather, our weather systems, our climate and our extreme weather and also contains the biogeochemical cycles, the nitrogen, carbon, oxygen, water cycle, contains 99% of the water vapor in the atmosphere of which is about 3 to 4% composition and plays a vital role in sustain and maintain organic life on this planet. So our atmosphere has changed over time, both in short time in terms of centuries, two millions and billions of years where the atmosphere has changed over the course of the Earth's history. Now the current atmosphere, the current troposphere, was investigated and started to do experiments by humans and scientists and philosophers looking at the different temperature and pressure readings at different altitudes from the surface up to the highest mountains like Mont Blanc in Europe to the production of the hot air balloon in 1783 and various scientists looking at using this hot air balloon to take measurements both of temperature and pressure as a balloon moves up in a vertical column of the atmosphere. So de Boer and Asman of both France and uh, Berlin, or Paris and Berlin, were famous to looking at the trouble pores and noticing where the um, atmosphere stops getting colder and has a kind of isothermic property at a certain altitude. Now this discovery of the trouble pores, the, the boundary layer between the troposphere and the stratosphere that was established in 1902, both from de Boort and Asman, that there is a certain temperature profile, a temperature reading that is an average pattern of what temperature does as altitude increases. So from the surface going through the troposphere, the temperature generally decreases at a certain lapse rate. And this is due to adiabatics and Bohr's law, the perfect gas law, of how you change the volume and, and change the pressure, you'll change the temperature of that gas. And then through the stratosphere, mesosphere, and into the thermosphere, you have different profiles and different inversions. But with the, tropos tropos with the troposphere, you have a general decrease of temperature of the air as you increase in altitude. It is extremely varied and vibrant. Now, in terms of the weather systems and water vapor and temperature profiles and adiabatics, you're going to take that liquid water, evaporate it from the surface, from different uh, surface landscapes, and create water vapor. And as it go goes up, it's going to contain that latent heat and energy and turn into clouds and weather systems as you increase in altitude and temperature drops past the dew point. So the formation of clouds through water vapor are beautiful and expressed in various sizes and timescales. This is a large macro example of a hurricane or typhoon circling around the ocean, hits the coastline, has devastating effects on the coastline with damage and death and high winds and, and, and flooding and tornadoes. And you get the single cell thunderstorms, cumulonimbus, cropping up the uh, mixture of cold and warm air and dry and moist air. And you get the formation of lightning storms and the formation of tornadoes and extreme weather and flooding and various droughts, all based on the simple effect of temperature, pressure, and water vapor in the atmosphere and the production of wind and vortexes. And what you do have is then the extreme part of weather we get in the troposphere. But as like all nature, you get the extreme weather, extreme devastation and craziness of, of heat and water vapor. And then you get the beautiful arrangements, beautiful patterns and artistry you get in the, in the atmosphere with the cirrus clouds, the cumulus clouds, the nice, warm, more stable atmosphere. You get the water droplets condensing into ice crystals and different beautiful, always changing patterns in the atmosphere. So every day is beautiful and different 
with sunsets and sunrises and you get a glorious element to the atmosphere which really does take your breath away sometimes on all these patterns that the atmosphere especially the troposphere can create thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please subscribe and hit the like button if you like more on this content please check out my channel which has all these videos on earth science